Hey guys, Ms. Katonic here. Welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 as the Empire of Ruthenia. Uh, when we... well... Alright, so I've been playing a little bit. Uh, maybe four years, something like that. I, I need to start start uh, busting it out. I mean, we still got 400 years of gameplay to go. And uh, yeah, I, I need to do some, some something off camera. Because half an hour episodes, I mean, it's going to be... I don't know. It's going to be a long time before we get to EU4. So, I think in the in the meantime, I am going to be doing some recording off or uh, doing some game gameplay off camera <coughs> in an effort to speed it along. But uh, in the in the um, interregnum, I guess. <laughs> uh, in the meantime, there has been some developments. Uh, the Caliph of Egypt uh, has called a jihad. Or the, not the not the caliph of Egypt. The Shia caliph has called a jihad for Egypt on uh, Rome. And uh, being the faithful ally that I am, and the staunch defender of Orthodox Christianity, I uh, joined along. And uh, I, for the for the most part, I've just been ignoring it. Um, and th that's why I didn't start recording immediately when that was called. Um, but what was called was a great holy war of uh, the Norse faith uh, for, um, what is it for? Sweden? For Norway. Norse Great Holy War for Norway. And uh, this does concern me directly. So I have started recording. I don't what part of Norway do I hold? Iceland? Is that it? Oh, this is part of Norway now. This is not, this is usually Sweden, obviously. So this must have uh, de jour flipped. Which is pretty cool. Um, speaking of de jour, this is pretty close to uh, becoming part of our empire. Because right now we only have this stuff. Which is... Uh, once, once that flips, hopefully our levy size will increase as well. But uh, anyway, let's get back to uh, the Scandinavians here. Um, it shouldn't be too hard at all. In fact, I think I have troops roughly around this area. Sort of around this area. Probably not close enough to, uh... Well, that's good enough. I guess we go this way. Well, that is faster. Okay. Uh, so let's turn the speed up. Get this started. Um, okay. Uh, th there was another thing that happened. Um, I think in the last episode there was an innocuous um, host uh, that started gathering troops, and I was like, oh, it's not a big deal. It'll, it'll be fine. Uh, but it was a big deal. He d declared war, and he, he had like 45,000 guys. And um, I don't know. I guess I figured it wouldn't be that hard, so I didn't record it. Um, but he actually wiped out one of my stacks. Of uh, retinues, which I, I think I'm rebuilding now, or I'm at least filling it up. All right, so let's get these guys. And uh, what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to raise the Varangian. Oh yeah, I'm going to yeah raise the Varangian guard, and I'm going to hire the. Oh, I can't. Oh, uh, Rome has has taken them. That makes sense. Okay. Um. Alright, so I'm, I'm going to leave the retinue for now. I'm just going to bring this guy up here. Alright, so all the Norse people are joining, of course. Uh, we can call in Rome. I don't think we need to. No, I'm not going to. That'll probably just distract them. No, screw it. I'll call in Rome. I'm helping him in his, his holy war, so... It's only fair. What is this? Is Germany joining? No, of course Germany wouldn't join. They hate us. Uh, they are defending... Oh, they're helping Rome. Interesting. Okay. Um, anyway, let's get this going. Alright, I'm going to have to start uh, censoring some of these messages. Um, although I do care about these things. It's just... It's so time-consuming. All right. No distractions. Only, only holy war. What is this? 
Oh yeah. <laughs> the uh, Holy Order wants to directly help. Yeah, for sure. Eudoxios of the Brotherhood of the something. Uh oh, they're sieging our trade posts. Okay. Uh, two competent contenders are fighting for position in Kiev, training the levies there. My gut tells me to choose the younger man, who has risen through the ranks fast, while my wife, Yelizaveta, is urging me to choose the older man, who has never risen above the rank of sergeant. I trust my wife more than my gut. Um, I definitely don't want content. So, yeah, screw you, uh, honey. We're not going to do that. <laughs> um, okay. So I think this is just going to be killing all the red troops I can see. Um. Yeah. I mean, sieging isn't going to get us that much war score. So uh, killing all the troops I can, I can, I think, would be the best. Meanwhile, everyone in the Norse world is joining against us. Um... So uh, this might this might actually be challenging. No, probably not. <laughs> um, challenging in the in the lazy sense that I might actually have to call up levies and stuff, which which you, as you all know, is a big imposition. Um, yeah, let's just go. Is this guy did this guy not join? No, he did. Of course he did. Wow, this is a big stack. That was instantly destroyed. Alright, so he is sieging my stuff right now, which is uh, potentially enough. I doubt. I kind of doubt he's going to go to Iceland, though. If he does, that'll be really annoying. Doesn't look like it. But uh, let's just siege stuff on the way there. Why not? Um, this looks good. And I got a free marshal. It's cool. Um, siege is back. Uh, 7th of November, 15th. Alright, we got him. Uh, you have learned of other enthusiasts in Kiev who share your interest in miniature armies and pitting them against each other in glorious battle. They will soon be holding a tournament to establish once and for all who the greatest general is. Perhaps you should grace them with your presence. Yes, my armies will crush all opposition. Obviously. It looks like we're going to be playing some Warhammer uh, with our vassals. Uh, you make your way to the small hovel where the gaming enthusiasts have gathered. Your, bodygu your bodyguards kick open the shack's ramshackle door and announce your presence to the bewildered peasant teenagers inside. <laughs> they are already sitting around a table in the midst of a battle with their own painted little armies. Right then, who will face me first? 50% uh, chance of your wooden soldiers carrying the day. 50% chance of your great army meeting defeat on the battlefield. Uh, as your armed guards stand at the uh, silent attention along the walls of the hut, you do battle with your wooden army. The dice roll your way, and soon your army is the last to remain standing on the table. The frightened striplings watch in silence as you gather up your wooden soldiers and turn to leave with your bodyguard. <laughs> we shall have to do this again sometime. Two martial and prestige. That's, that's really nice. Oh, I had an ambition. Well, that explains it. That explains it. That'll actually help our uh, levy size. Um... Oh, great. After years of careful planning, uh, Daniil Dostoevsky from the court of Grand Prince Pudiata of uh, Karamiza has raised a large army of exiles, mercenaries, and hopefuls, declaring his intention to press his claim by force. 
So this guy is back. I'm th pretty sure this is the... No, it can't be the same guy. Yeah, this is someone else. This is someone else. I don't. I think this is just... It hasn't happened yet. And cares in it. Where is that? Who is he fighting? I don't understand. He's at war with... Asturias. Wow. Wow, wow. Oh my god, that would be awesome. That would be really good for us. Because that would... Uh, he would get all of this, I believe. And then uh, he would be a Russian and Orthodox um, ruler of all of that land. Which would make it a lot easier. Uh, you know, spreading Orthodox on the, all over the map. Okay. Let's just start crushing... Crush. Um, with this size stack, I'm gonna see if there's anyone with the uh, speed, speed uh, trait. Can, is it organizer? Yeah, yeah, this guy. This will help um, quite a bit. Let's go. Okay. There's still somehow... I don't know. It, the whole speed thing is pretty annoying. Looks like he's going to collapse on us here. Um, hopefully we can wipe the stack out um, sufficiently before he joins. Yeah, it's just... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, damn. Alright, we inherited the river crossing. Um, usurp the title. He's four daughters. And uh, apparently it's Gavelkind. Yep. Okay. Well, it looks like... Hopefully we'll... Oh, no. Nope. Nope, this is bad. This is very bad. And, of course, we have a revolt. Uh, where's my other... Alright, looks like this guy's gonna have to see some action as well. Any organizers? Did I miss one? I'm really gonna have to start breeding some uh, military people. Eugenics program t to the rescue. Man, we have some good, good vassals though. We also have some terrible vassals, too, but... Um... Alright, well, I guess it's just merit-based, then. Yeah, let's, let's get you up here, because, uh... I have a feeling this whole stack is gonna die. Wow, I cannot believe we lost that. Please don't follow me. Please just stay there. Just stay there. It's fine. Everything's fine. Apparently, I don't, I'm not sure what happened here. I guess they all merged into one. Yeah, just stay there. It's all good. Don't mind me. <laughs> Alright. No! <laughs> Why? 12th of June... Uh, 6th of April. Um, I don't see this happening. I do not see me getting away. The only thing I can think of... Oh, no, no, no. Not that. Can I get boats here quick enough? Um, 
62. There we go. Alright. I have a feeling they're not going to be quick enough. 22nd of March, maybe. Alright, let's just stay here. Okay, that, that jihad failed. Um, the greatest, it seems, does not favor the Muslim faithful. After a string of defeats and setbacks, Caliph Kermal... Kermal <laughs> Kermaladin has called off the jihad for Egypt against Emperor Vladimir of Roman Empire. Pathetic. Okay. Well, he he had stopped at one point. I saw that. Um. Can I get a white piece? I mean, this isn't very... No, indecisive. Okay, he stopped moving, though. He did stop moving. I, I don't, I'm not sure what his, what his deal is. I think he's just bought me enough time, though. Um, 17th of April. This is... 8th of April. 12th. So that'll give me five days... I think I have exactly enough time to board the boats and then leave. The only thing is I can't remember if uh, the total levy size affects whether you can board or not. If that makes sense. Uh, this guy... Um, yeah, you can go back. Alright. Two more days. Okay. Get on the boat. Run. <laughs> Run away. Oh. Oh no. It, it's fine. It's fine. They're not going to be there. Well, that was uh, fortuitous. I I do think we lost a lot of our retinue though somehow. Um, I guess more Jujina? No, I really like the archers. Uh, not the shock, where is it? Skirmish. This has created a bunch of them. Wow. <laughs> Alright, well that's a huge stack. That's 10,000. This is 10,000. This is meet them up. We'll group up over here. Alright, so that is a setback, but uh, there's no way in the long run we're going to lose this. Um, fabricated claim. Okay. This stack is only 10,000 as well. Uh, this guy isn't really doing much over here. I guess we'll just... Yeah, let's just go kill this stack, if we can. Alright, well we are going to lose war score. It's inevitable. Um, hopefully we can win this battle, at least. It is pretty bad not having... Whoa! That was stupid. <laughs> wow, that was really good. Um, he's running to... here. Is someone attached to me? Oh yeah! It's the, uh... It's the Brotherhood. Wow, okay. Let's go, uh... Let's go join up. Um, auto balance, yes.
Um, okay. What is this? Kinsman who's craven. Well, I think I am going to start the uh, eugenics program. Uh, we do need some brilliant tacticians. Brilliant strategists. Yeah, that'll work. And my grandson. He's not in the line of uh, succession, so don't have to be too overly concerned. I think I will go for uh, for the uh, military still. Okay. Um, let's sit there. I'll sit there and wait. Wait for us to join up. And uh, you might as well, yeah, keep coming around here. You can come over this way as well. Oh, right, we have a uh, <laughs> an uprising. Forgot about that. I could have uh, dealt with this a long time ago. Um, yeah, let's just put in some guys. That looks good. Okay. Uh, oh no, they did land in Iceland. <laughs> no! I, I guess it's a distraction, because I don't think they're going to get much uh, war score from that. Not Iceland, no! I mean, really, I could just land my... I have enough boats to launch an invasion. Oh, hey! Looks like that revolt is over. And I guess we're going to execute. And what happened to his stack? Maybe he moved moved it from up there. Or moved it to Iceland from here. Yeah, we're going to start sieging some of this back. Fear has loosened its grip on me, and I stand tall against the things I used to fear. Alright, lost Craven, which is good. Yeah, let's siege this back. Um, Patrician... Yeah, I'll grant him a claim. Even with a claim, I, I, still, I still don't think he can uh, declare war with our current um, authority. Alright, more conversions. Siege of Borg. Okay. Um, who is this? Oh, this is the Brotherhood again. How did you get... Do you have two armies? You must. Okay, let's get out, of, get out of here. Obviously, attrition, attrition would be bad in this place. Um, Countess of Saxe, my granddaughter. Okay. Alright, so there's nothing sieged except for Iceland. I don't know if that'll give him a ticking score or not. 
I kind of doubt it. I had certainly a hefty amount of war score, but there's no taking. I think he would have to siege everything in Norway to get that. Look at all these <laughs> people. Did Asturias join? Nope. Not that I can tell. Nope. Not at all. Interesting. Unfortunately, it looks like um, that host uh, didn't succeed because um, he's not at war anymore with anyone. Why is this glowing? I don't know. Looks like Germany's having some rebel problems. Uh, lower crown authority. Nothing too scary, though. France is still around. German Orthodox. Von Bergs. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's not too bad. I'm sure Germany can, can manage. Was Savoy one of their vassals? Oh yeah, Duke of Gilray as well. Asturias still owns this stuff. In fact, I think they expanded in that area. Anyway, um, I think I'm going to call this episode to a close. Um, next time we're going to finish up this war and then uh, take a look around at the Caliphs, see if any of them have our truces expired. And then I think I'm going to start doing some off-screen play, just to move it along a little bit quicker. Um, I'm kind of anxious to get to EU4. Um, I don't know. And the Mongols is going to be the most exciting chapter of this CK2 experience, I think. So uh, the sooner we get there, the better, in my opinion. Anyway, this has been Miskatonic, and thanks for watching.